Hello and welcome to my show Indus Cuisine. I'm your chef Basim Akhun. We're back with another new recipe from the heart of Pakistan. Today's recipe is very easy and it's particularly very close to my heart. Why is it close to my heart? Because this recipe was fed to me by my grandmother and also this recipe has a very uh, old history uh, and it even dates back before the Mughal Empire. Why? Because this recipe is consisting a large amount of spinach you can say. So this recipe's name is Palak Gosht. So now you might be thinking that what does this mean? Palak means spinach in our Urdu language and gosht means any form of meat. But when we talk about palak gosht, uh, the gosht which we're using or the meat which we're using is basically mutton. So it is said that spinach was introduced by the Persian Empire to the subcontinent and subsequently to Pakistan 2000 years ago. And it has a very interesting uh, history behind it. So as you know, in the current day or in the current world, spinach is a very integral part of the Italian cuisine also. You see so many different types of pastas and Italian dishes in which spinach is incorporated. But do you know that in the 16th century, not too long ago, spinach was introduced to Italy and Catherine de Medici of the famous Medici family loved this vegetable. So when she was married to the French king back in the day, it is also said that Catherine took a large amount of cooks or chefs back in the day with her to her new, uh, new home, new family, where these different cooks made different recipes out of this one ingredient called the spinach. So this recipe in Pakistan is loved in the province of Punjab mostly and also in the coastal areas of Sindh. Why? Because in Punjab and in Sindh, spinach is widely consumed as a vegetable in every different class or in every family you come across. <laughs> 